Are you bored of the Nissan Qashqai or the Duke? Well, this car could be the answer. The Mini Clubman with five seats, a big boot and styling to match could be the perfect family car for you. In this video, I'm going to go around the outside, the inside and go for a drive to show you why. You know what? Let's jump in. This is the Mini Clubman Cooper S. Now, before anyone comments, it's not a John Cooper Works, it's just got a John Cooper Works styling kit. If you don't know what John Cooper Works is, John Cooper Works, or JCW, is Mini's racing versions of their cars. More power, bigger wheels, that sort of thing. At the front, we've got a nice grille design and nice splitter. You've also got these nice Mini lights. I always think they look very stylish. And you've got a air intake being the Cooper S. This car's also got the 18-inch diamond cut alloys, which I think look great. They are the John Cooper Works design. And obviously we've got four doors. And so when we get to the back, we have the split folding boot and also dual tailpipes. Again, Bin is a Cooper S, slightly bigger engine, a two litre, and it's got dual pipes. I think it looks cool. What do we think? How cool does this car look? Let's be honest, a Nissan Qashqai and a Juke, they look a bit dull. I won't beat around the bush, they do look a bit boring. This car, I think it's great. It's got the mini design cues, which I think a lot of people do like. It's not to everyone's taste, but I personally really, really like it. And also for a family alternative to like a normal crossover, it looks awesome. So inside the Mini, it is good news. If you've ever sat in a Mini, you'll know they're quite stylish. They're a little bit different, and that's the whole point. I'm saying this car is different than most of the family stuff out there. In front of you, you've got this really nice wrap dashboard that sort of feels, I don't know, like a cabin of some sort. It just feels really nice. In front of you, you've got a nice leather wrap steering wheel. Being this has got a John Cooper Works kit, it has got a John Cooper Works logo, it's got the red stitching. You're also sitting in these rather lovely half leather, half material seats. They are a bucket S, they're more of a sport seat because they do kind of hug you on the sides. And also at the front, you kind of have a bit of an extending support for your legs. They move up and down, they're not electric, they just move up and down, forward and backwards, and, and the sides kind of bolster in, which is, which is nice. Now this car's got a mini cool, the Media Pack XL. What that gives you is a larger screen in the middle, which is also touchscreen. It gives you enhanced Bluetooth, a front center armrest, and also a leather wrap steering wheel with multi-function buttons. So things like your volume and your cruise control. So entering through the second set of doors, oh, we're in the back. And I'm pleased to report you have three seats, plenty of space for two adults either side. You have got a little tiny Ted Loss seat in the middle. It's fine for a little person, but you know, I mean, it's got seat belt, so it is a five seater. But realistically, if you look at things like the Cash High and the Duke, is that seat any much more usable? It may be a little bit bigger, but not massively. And as you sit down nice and comfortably, loads of headroom, loads of leg room. I'm all comfortable, I've got armrests. It just feels, it feels great. You have got a 12 volt socket in the middle, and also you've got some air conditioning just to keep your car cool. But yeah, it's really comfortable. Let's have a look at the back. Well, the Mini Clubman has actually got rather a big boot. This is my dog, and he's a Labrador. As you can see, he's a pretty much a usual Labrador size, and he fits absolutely fine. So if you're a family that has got a dog like I do, then this is the perfect size. Now, if you're planning a bit of a DIY weekend, then pop the back seats down of the Mini, and you've got plenty of space for bits and bobs like fencing and, and outdoor barbecues. So I've shown you around the outside and I've shown you around the inside. And let's be honest, it's a really stylish car. But there's one thing left to do to show you and prove why this car should be your next family car. Let's go for a drive. So we're underway 
and let's start with numbers. Now the brand new Mini Cooper Clubman, so the standard Cooper, starts from just over £27,000, which means it's just a smidgen more than a Nissan Qashqai. There are three engine variants with the Mini Clubman. There's the Cooper, the Cooper S, and the John Cooper Works. Now the Cooper has 136 brake horsepower, the Cooper S has 178 brake horsepower, and the John Cooper Works has 306. This car is the Mini Cooper S, so it sits in the middle. Now, the worst case scenario, you should be seeing upwards of 35 miles per gallon, but the Cooper, the base car, will be far into the 40s. Right, so if you click it into sport mode, it shows this middle bit is red and it picks up a bit. And I said this car's got an automatic gearbox and I have got paddles behind the steering wheel. Now the automatic isn't that quick, but it's all right. Limit heck. Yeah, this has got plenty of poke and that's what I'm saying. The, I just, it's so boring when you see lots of different manufacturers do those crossovers and you think, oh, that'll be all right car for me. I don't want you to settle for something that's going to be all right. I want you to drive something like this, something that's fun and engaging. And basically, if you drop the kids off at school or wherever it might be, and you're heading to work and you fancy a bit of a hoon in your sporty car, well, this is the one you can do it in. And it sounds all right as well. What cash car? It sounds good. Yes, Duke has that Nismo thing, but good Lord, come on. Yes, 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 yes. And obviously, my channel is a little bit racy and other cars on here are more performance-based. But as I've said, you can get a Cooper, good miles per gallon. It's not a quick car, but it does plenty. Yes, 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 yes. Now, this Mini Clubman Cooper S has 178 brake horsepower and goes from 0 to 62 in 7.2 seconds, which means it's far quicker than most other cash guys and dukes on the road, so you can get to that last car parking space in Sainsbury's first. Now I said, when we jump in and start driving this car, that will really come into why you should buy this car. It feels like a car. It feels like a mini. It feels like a sporty little hot hatch. And let's be honest, some of the cash guys and dukes and some other ones, Q3s, lots of different kind of crossover SUVs that most people buy, are a little bit wallowy and they're a bit boat-like and they're not actually that inspiring to drive. The Clubman doesn't feel like that. It's fairly responsive. If you get a good enough engine, it's actually really quite quick, especially the all-wheel, four-wheel drive version of the John Cooper Works. It's actually very, very quick. But, you know, going through these corners, it feels like a Mini. Now, I say that because I've had a Mini Cooper and a Mini John Cooper Works, so I know what Minis feel like, and it feels very similar. It also helps that it's nice in here. It's just a nice place to be. You've got a not really retro, it's, it's modern, it's modern bits and bobs inside, but it still has got the same sort of mini design, which I, I really like. So all in all, if you're looking for a family car that actually drives like a car, but it's still practical and it's still enjoyable to use every day, this is the one. Now, things that are important to you, perhaps you don't want something that's too cumbersome, too big, and you may feel like a cash guy, a Q3, all those kind of cars are a bit big. This car doesn't feel like that. It feels low and it feels quite small and quite, you know, hugging. The windows visibility-wise are good. The pillars aren't large. Looking at your blind spots, you've got lots of windows to see out of. You know, at the back, the rear view mirror is showing a, kind of like a letterbox window. And at the moment, because it's got the Clubman, you've got a split in the middle where the doors open like that. So you can't really see a huge amount out of it, but Realistically, not everyone's using that mirror. You've got ones on the side and they're absolutely fine. And when you're parking, you've got things like sensors, you can get cameras, all that kind of thing. Now, there are a lot of good things with this Mini Clubman, but there are some not so good bits. Uh, a couple of things. There's a lot of plastic in the car. Now, Mini, for some reason, they've always liked a bit of plastic. The cars I had have always been a bit plasticky. There are some soft touch plastics on here, like the dash and the door, but things like the sensor console. Can you hear that creaking? Oh God, I've just taken, I've just, oh God, I've just broken it, I think. Oh Jesus. Oh, I've got it back on. Things like, can you hear this center where my rev counter is? It's just all a bit creaky and a bit plasticky. 
Other things, I don't really like the run flats that the car comes with. I had a John Cooper Works, I had five punches and one wheel replacement because they just didn't seem to last very well. Yes, it could have been where I was driving and how I was driving, but realistically, five tires in two years seems like an excessive amount. And I've had other cars since without run flats. Same roads, same me, doesn't really seem to be an issue. So yeah, I sometimes think run flats aren't great. Other than that, running costs aren't a huge amount. I said miles per gallon is good. So overall, it's brilliant. It's a really, really good car. Let me pull up and let's just have a quick chat. So the Mini Clubman is better to look at than a Nissan Qashqai. It's faster than a Nissan Juke and it's slightly less expensive than an Audi Q3. So if you're looking for a family car, this is probably the one to go for. It's got five seats, it's got a big boot, plenty for the dog, plenty for the family, plenty for all the kids bits and bobs. Why do you want anything else? It handles fantastically, it's good on fuel and it's pretty well priced. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see plenty more future videos to come, but for now, I'll see you soon. I've got